Meanwhile, it was a narrow escape for the senator representing Anambra South Senatorial Zone, Mr. Ifai Uba, as his convoy came under attack of gunmen yesterday in Njikoka local government area of Anambra State. According to eyewitnesses, the senator's convoy was ambushed by heavily armed men who opened fire on his convoy from all sides. Now, some of his aides were killed, and police officers were also killed in the attack. The senator is said to have managed to escape, but his, bullet, his bulletproof car was riddled with bullets. Reacting to the incident, the police public relations officer, DSP Tutuku Ikenga, in a press release disclosed that the Anambra State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Etching Etching, led operatives to the scene at Inpo Market, in where the shooting took place. He also disclosed that the senator is currently in hospital where he's being attended to by doctors. Now, for more details on this incident, joining us in news track is the special advisor to Senator Oba on media and strategic communications, Mr. Kamen Ogwona. Mr. Ogwona, thank you for joining us on news track. Firstly, uh, our sympathies and condolences for those who were injured, lost their lives in that attack and the current trauma that has gone on with those affected by that incident. Uh, where is the, the, the senator is in hospital. How is his health? Yeah, Mr. Gwena, if you can hear me, welcome to the program. Can you tell us uh, what happened, what's the state of health of the yeah. senator is right now, Senator Obai in hospital, and uh, how far along are the police with what they say about the investigations? Thank you. Uh, the distinguished senator is, uh, is um, fine. He's uh, resting right now, and he's in high spirits. Now, it was disclosed that uh, some of his aides were killed. How many aides lost their lives and police officers lost their lives, if you have that information? And what are the police saying now about the investigations? Uh, unfortunately, my brother, we lost um, two of my colleagues, and then uh, we lost um, three police officers, with um, some persons still in the hospital, receiving their treatment as we speak. Again, I want to extend my our condolences to you and to the people of Anambra State concerning this incident. I don't know if you heard me earlier. That's how I began. Uh, but now that this has happened, uh, we also understand that the Commissioner of Police, uh, Mr. Etcheng Etcheng, led operatives to the scene. Can you tell us where they are now with their investigations? Have they disclosed anything to you? Uh, though it's very early in the day. So far, we've not uh, we've not heard from them. We are still uh, waiting to get the facts of uh, what happened. But of course, we on our own, we also getting uh, feedback from Intel from the streets, and uh, we arrive at our own conclusion. Also. But for now, we are waiting for the police to get from them. We've been reporting it since yesterday about what happened. But can you tell us again, in your own words, how this occurred? We understand he was on his way. Uh, to some location, and it, and it happened in Injikoka local government area. Can you tell us again what happened? Yes, we, the senator attended the Anglican Synod in Ekusigo local government. So when he finished from Ekusigo, he started uh, heading back to Oka, where he stays, you know, these days when he comes to Anambra. So on getting to the market in Injikoka, you know, uh, because uh, the way the, the road is, the way the place is, when you get to that place, you have to slow down. Sometimes there is uh, traffic also. So when the convoy slowed down, <coughs> the next thing we started hearing was gunshots. You know, it was coming from the front, you know, and we made to reverse. You say, you realize that even from the back, they were going. So we realized that we practically ran into an ambush, you know, and uh, everything went haywire. The uh, luckily the vehicle the distinguished senator is in is a bulletproof vehicle and the driver mustered courage and pulled out from the convoy and uh, 
drove away why those um, bullets were, you know, uh, ailing. And, and, uh, you know, and so <coughs> it was a gory scene, my brother. It was a terrible scene. It was a terrible scene. Thank you, Mr. Bona, for recounting to us what happened. Uh, we pray for the, uh, uh, the quick recovery of, the, of Senator Ifan Yuba at the hospital, where he's at. And again, our condolences uh, concerning this issue. And we hope the police uh, quickly come to the, uh, get to the bottom of this matter and arrest the perpetrators. Thank you for talking to us on Newstrack. Thank you very much.